Well, and luckily, Arizona State has been able to overcome those penalties. Of course, the Buffaloes and Oregon State aren't very good football teams this season. And the pass is picked off. Third turnover caused by the defense. Making the interception was Keelan Johnson stepping in front of the receiver. Second pick thrown by Hanson. The first was Clint Floyd, and now it's Keelan Johnson. This one right on the hash mark. They're throwing an in cut, and it looked like, I don't know, it looked like to me Keenan Canty kind of stopped on the route, and that allowed Keelan Johnson to basically come in and break downhill on the football and get the interception. But to me, that looks like the wide receiver quitting on the route, and that's got to make your quarterback, Tyler Hansen, pretty upset. No question about it. And we had praised Tyler Hansen for only throwing four interceptions coming into this game. First down completion to Jarrell Robinson, the pickup of 12. Jarrell Robinson really saving his best for last in his senior year. We talked about his numbers over the last couple of games. Back-to-back 100-yard -back receiving games on the road at Utah and then at Oregon. First down, Osweiler swings it over to Jamal Miles. Miles past the 40-yard line. Ray Polk, the junior from Scottsdale, Arizona, and Brophy Prep in on the stop. Polk did not play last week against Oregon because of a concussion that he suffered against Washington. And he is a legit tough guy for this Colorado team. He's going to need wrist surgery after the season. He's playing with a cracked sternum, which uh, apparently it's hard for him even when he, when he coughs. It's painful. Second down and seven. Osweiler, quick hit over the middle. It's complete for another ASU first down. Caught there by George Bell, who's been quietly efficient this season for Arizona State. Well, that's the good thing about this offense. There's a lot of receivers that get a lot of publicity with Flugrad, Willie, Robinson, and Miles, but... Brock Osweiler and Noma Zoni don't have any problems getting the ball to these other wide receivers, and that's why it's so difficult to try and defend them. Osweiler looks off his first target and then uh, sent it flying toward Rashad Ross. But uh, his first 10 completions of the game to eight different receivers. There's his offensive coordinator, Noel Mazzoni. Who, by the way, was a uh, quarterback coach for Tim Tebow before the NFL draft, before the Denver Broncos selected Tim Tebow, who was under the tutelage of Noel Mazzoni, who's also worked with Phillip Rivers when they were together at NC State. Hand off and up the middle, Cameron Marshall. It takes two or three Buffaloes to bring him down. Ray Polk led the charge. They're saying loose ball, but here is Noel Mazzoni and Tim Tebow. They worked out in Florida, and then again here in Tempe on the Sun Devils practice field. So he was working on his release points, trying to get from point A to point B a little bit more quickly. And he has kept in contact with Tim Tebow after that success, of course, last week in the overtime win over Miami, saying he still texts him every week or so. Well, they did a good job in that offseason when they was preparing for the NFL to try and shorten that delivery and try and get the NFL personnel and the coaches to buy into the fact that he could be that quarterback. But, of course, I think he's kind of regressed into some of his old habits, and I think he's got to give Coach Mazzoni another phone call. Well, a drop pass there. It was intended for A.J. Pickens. Should have made the catch. You know, and Noel Mazzoni was saying that Brock Osweiler has Tebow intent intangibles. Well, I could see that. I could see where well, he could say, he could say that about his quarterback because we've seen the leadership. We've seen Brock be able to rally his football team from behind in different environments. We've seen him respond very well after overcoming some adversity. So there's a lot of positive things for Brock Osweiler. He just has to continue to get better and better and better. They're going to spot this right between the 36 and 37 yard line. We'll call it a 47 yard attempt by Alex Garut. He's hit his last five and now six straight for Alex Garut. Longest of the season was 49 yards on opening night and he drills it through from 47 and Arizona State now takes a 34 to 7 lead on the Buffaloes here early in the third quarter.